Hi there, Michelle Crafty Servings. You're not going to believe what I'm going to use for this Dollar Tree craft. Honestly, I had to change it up a little bit. Part is not Dollar Tree, but I'm going to show you other ideas from the Dollar Tree to make it bigger. Um, I wanted to make little, so I'm going to use something I have here. But I know you can get them at Dollar Trees. It just wasn't at mine when I went there. But I'm going to give you other ideas that you can do, like I said, to make bigger. So we're doing beach, nautical theme. Um, you're not going to believe what I got. I'll show you from my Dollar Tree what I did get and give you ideas for making it larger. And then I'm going to do a smaller scale with what I have. So make sure you say hi. Let me know you're out there. Um, I have quite a glare back here and I'm trying to figure out what is causing it. Hmm. I think it's my TV. Let's see if we can change it. There we go. Hello, Ruthie. All right, so like I said, we're doing beach nautical theme. Remember when I did these bees? People were saying they see lighthouse. I'm doing lighthouses today. So I'm going to do one on these. I actually went to the Dollar Tree to get their salt shakers, and they were out. They said somebody just bought eight packs of them. I'm like, Who would do that? Me. I didn't, though it wasn't me this time. But I still have some of these left. But I'm going to show you other things that I grab from the Dollar Tree and give you ideas. I'm going to show you that right away. Give you ideas of great ideas to do this same um, lighthouse only on a larger scale. All right. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that right away. Thank you, Anne, for passing me on. Hello, Nelda. All right, so we are going to use uh, one I have here, but I know you can get these at the Dollar Tree. I know you can, not mine. Let me show you other ideas. So nautical, we're doing nautical. This was the Dollar Tree nautical. If you missed that on a live, I did that. It was just napkin on one of their wood hangers, and this was a canvas panel that I showed you how to paint. If you missed that, go back and check that out. Hi, Claudia. Oh, Cash decided he wanted to say hi. He was getting bored with me sitting here trying to figure out what I was doing, and he finally went and laid down. Now I think he figured out that I'm talking to someone. Uh-oh, FedEx is here. You better not be knocking my table to get at him. Fed or, yeah, FedEx, I think. I don't know if that's for me. I know I have a package coming today. Hi, Jill. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see if I have to get up, all right? You just don't go under my table. All right, let me show you my ideas now that I did get from the Dollar Tree. So, yeah, he's smelling. I actually, I had a candle. I scooped out. He's smelling can the candle right now. All right, so I am going to use some of this. Look at the this little package of moss. It had that little bit of pine cone in there. We are going to use some of this on it. Look at these little shells. This is Dollar Tree. We're going to use that on it. <laughs> He's smelling that candle. Okay, let me just show you. I'm trying to think of what is what. Okay, so hello, Diane. I'm glad you caught me live. Yes, I'm glad he's on that side because I think if Amazon stops, he's not. No, cash. No, he wants to eat the candle I scooped out. See, I got a candle from the Dollar Tree and I scooped it out so easily. It's right here. I just cut pieces and I could scoop it right out. So as long as you didn't use it yet, it's scooped. So this is part of what you could use that I'm going to show you on a larger scale. Cash wants to eat it. It smells amazing. I think it's blueberry. It is blueberry pancakes. It smells amazing. So you get this at the Dollar Tree. Again, if you do this on a bigger scale, this would make an amazing lighthouse. All right. So what I show you today, you can do exactly like this on here. All right. And put one of these little candles in there, right? That would be perfect. So that's an idea from the Dollar Tree. Again, I'm doing a salt, a salt, well, salt or pepper shaker. And, um, but I want to show you how to do it on a big scale from the Dollar Tree. Okay. That's one idea. My other idea from the Dollar Tree is right here. 
they have these plastic glasses. Look at it, it's already blue. Um, that would be perfect. You can just paint some white stripes on it, which we're doing white and blue and adding a little red in ours. Hi, hi, uh, RJ, how are you? Get one of these little terrariums. Look at that. Would that not make a perfect um, lighthouse also? And then put drop one of these candles in there. Hello, Susan. Thank you so much. So drop one of these candles in there. Paint it up just like I'm going to be painting this one and decorate it up. Same thing. Look at what you can do on a larger scale. These would make perfect lighthouses, right? Hello, Teresa. Thank you for passing me on. I appreciate it. So those are ideas from the Dollar Tree, but I'm using salt and pepper shaker. We're going to keep it on the small scale. And, and then I'll show you the decorating at the end, how to make a little scene with it and how to make a little scene actually with this larger one. It, it will be awesome. Okay. So please stick on and I'll show you that at, at the end. Um, we're going to use a little stone from the Dollar Tree. They also had, let's see if I can find it. I thought I had it over here. I'm sure I have it here. Oh, little vase fillers. Isn't that fun? We're going to maybe add a little of that in there. If you have sand, they didn't have sand there. So um, I could have gone to Walmart. I know they have it, but I didn't feel like going in there too. All right, Teresa. Okay, so we're going to do it on the salt and pepper shaker. Like I said, we're doing it on a small scale. My my Dollar Tree did not have salt and pepper shakers because they somebody bought up. They said like eight of them, eight packs. Um, so they didn't have any left. So I'm using what I have here. But you definitely, I know you can get salt and pepper shakers there. All right, we're gonna just go ahead and start painting. I'm using mostly chalk paste. Chalk paste makes a really good base for this. Um, even if you want to do chalk paste, um, not not chalk paste. I'm sorry, chalk paint. Even if you want to do chalk paint. Um, for the first bait and the rest of it as regular acrylic, or you could really use acrylic paint too. Um, you can, that works also. All right. So I'm using the white, the Waverly acrylic paint, um, the, the matte, it's matte finish. It's no prep acrylic. You can get this at Walmart. I'm just going to go ahead and start painting it. I'm going to get a paper towel here just to have something to lay on. Thank you, Lois, for passing me on. I appreciate that. It's going to be really, really cute. Like I said, doing those uh, this same thing on the larger scale of what I got at the Dollar Tree um, would be amazing. And I'll show you again at the end. We will do, um, I will do a little bit of a display with them. Of how to just add just real cuteness to put it together uh, it, it would just be adorable so I'll show that and it's with mostly Dollar Tree items and things that got outside so I did go out and get a couple branches that I thought maybe could look like driftwood I don't live anywhere where I get driftwood well I do but I don't have driftwood Well, enjoy your visit with your daughter. All right, and the secret with painting on glass, I mean, you should probably clean it with um, vinegar or alcohol or something like that. I usually don't, but you just want to make sure it's thin coats. Don't do heavy coats um, because you're going to do several thin coats. It'll make just a nice, even light layer. Heavier coats will cause, like when you're trying to dry it, um, it might cause it to lift up someone, somewhat when you're adding the next layer, if it's not completely dry. So just several light coats. It paints up real easily. And I'm using white. You could use, honestly, you could probably use a light blue also or an off-white. Okay, I'm just going to do this top yet, and then we're going to dry it up right away. 
Again, it's just a really simple light coat and we're going to add another coat for sure. Hello, Sherry. All right, I'm just going to put this in here to help turn it around because it's going to get hot. And honestly, if you're looking, if you're asking about salt and pepper shakers, you know how I said I went to Dollar Tree to get theirs and that was out, so I got some other things for the Dollar Tree. But I got these, like multiple. They had a lot of them at Goodwill. So, and they were all packaged as two, and they were all the same exact one. So, I, I got them at Goodwill. Absolutely check thrift stores. Um, or go to, go to Walmart or um, Family Dollar or something. You can get glass salt and pepper shakers pretty well everywhere. So you might, you know, figure out a shape that might work. This just absolutely dries so fast, as long as, again, you're using the thin layers. And I know we can get it along um, Lake Michigan. I'm just, I just wasn't down there. <laughs> and I just wanted tiny little pieces. So I'll show you what I found right outside my door by an old shrub with broken from during the winter little pieces in there. That's all I'm going to use. It looks sort of like driftwood. All right, I should have painted that too. I'll do that this time. All right, let's give it another layer. Now, if you want, I am going to be painting stripes on here. If you want to try and do stripes right from the beginning and do like a stripe of white and a stripe of I'm adding blue on this, you can do that but I find it easier just to paint it all white and then paint on top. It's easy to paint on top of the white. Again, just a thin layer. If, it, if you did not dry it in between, that paint will be lifting up. So you have to make sure you get it dried. I think we can get away with these two layers doesn't have to be perfect. Hello, Gail. Well, I can't wait to see you too. If you've been hopping on late, I showed at the beginning other things I got from the Dollar Tree that you can absolutely do this with on a larger scale. And I'll show them at the end again. Um, I'm doing it on a salt, salt and pepper shaker. I already have one almost done. Um, but so I'm showing you on a salt and pepper shaker. But there are some awesome things at your Dollar Tree that you can make them larger too. I mean, besides, I mean, everybody has seen them on pots, clay pots. I think everybody's probably seen them on clay pots. Um, but you can do it without clay pots and you can make really, really cute ones. I probably, honestly, I'll still do some with them just to show you. I might do it on a live. Okay, so that's a good second coat. Um, <laughs> I'm going to hold it. Let's see. There we go. Now I'm going to do the cover also. We'll do that all in white. You're going to get some paint on you. I should have done it right at the beginning and got my second coat on already. Okay, let me just see. Get another brush here to dry it up. I feel like a, what is that when you, a juggler that, or, you know, that balances things? I'm pretty good at it, aren't I? I know, Teresa. Thursdays are my day off now, too, as of the beginning of the year, but it hasn't been working out for me to get on. Um, I've had just really a lot going on, um, you know, with family and everything, and just trying to keep everything going. And so I'm excited to come on. I do have, I have to get done. Well, I just have to leave here by one today get my mom to an appointment so yeah, 
a lot of traffic back here today. We're on a little cul-de-sac that's always quiet. Okay, that's really hot. <laughs> really, really hot. Let's put it back on there. Okay, because it is metal, it'll get hot. Just paint the second coat. Hello, Sue. So just get that all over. Again, we are going to be um, painting some colored stripes on, but we'll just paint it white and that'll be nice and bright then when it's done. I'm done with the white. Let's dry this up again. It does look like a little hat, doesn't it? Oh! You could do some cute little ornaments with this, couldn't you? That's that's got my head going, Sue. See, that's you know, people ask where you get ideas from. Just by somebody saying something like that, that that looks like a hat, it's like, oh, my head is going in different directions right now. Yes, of a Hershey kiss too. Yes, these I got from Goodwill. But like I said, I know Dollar Tree has salt and pepper shakers. Mine was just out. Um, again, at the end, if you're new, I will show you um, what else I got from Dollar Tree that you can do this on a bigger scale. I just felt I wanted to do it on a small scale. But there are great items at Dollar Tree to make really, really, really cute lighthouses, larger lighthouses. I'm making a lighthouse, Gloria. I don't know if you remember the bees that I made on these salt and pepper shakers and people were saying, they remind me of lighthouses. I'm making lighthouses with them. Okay, make it a hot. All right, I just want to make sure this is dry. Do you hear my garbage pick up? <laughs> An acorn top. And you know, do you remember during the winter, I did the acorns, I painted them as little snowmen heads. And they had the little hats from the acorn cap. And I put them around, like I put that one on my boss's desk just to surprise her. And they're just little tiny snowman heads with acorns. So that does remind me of that. Yeah, I did that on a live. It looks like a beehive. Did Becky, did you catch the live where I did this as bees? I have them right here. I can show you again. I did I did these salt and pepper shakers as bees. All right, just make sure that's good and dry. This is the ones that I did as bees. Okay, same salt and pepper shakers. Now we're doing lighthouse. Okay, we're going to take that same brush because I think it's a good width. You know what I smell here is blueberry pancakes. And the reason why I smell them is because that candle I showed at the beginning that would make a good topper for a lighthouse um, was blueberry pancakes. And I peeled it all out. It's laying on my table here. It smells like blueberry pancakes. Okay, we're going to dry this up and we're going to do the stripes. Snowman, bigger salt shakers. I bought some I haven't done yet. Ooh, that sounds good idea. All right. So we're done with the white. <laughs> Wouldn't have been good spilling. Now I've got, um, now at this point, because you already have, you have the chalk paste everywhere, including on yourself. Um, if you want to use even, I mean, this is honestly was acrylic. This is acrylic paint. I just like the chalk paint on glass. But now if you want to just use acrylic, if you do get the chalk paint, then just use acrylic, you know, go ahead and do that. It'll stick on here better. But you can certainly use just regular acrylic paint. Whatever you have, you just need thin layers, okay? So this is nautical blue. It's folk art nautical blue. I thought that would be perfect. I I use this a lot. I, I love this color. We're just going to start on the bottom here. I should check it out. 
gets them on the cover. Yeah, the tiny little snowmen were cute, right, Kathy? Hello. Well, thank you, Teresa. Yeah, I love those little snowmen. They, the little snowmen heads were just cute. All right, so now we got some in the cover. And we're going to paint this bottom part, this nautical blue. I said, wait till you see how decorated up on just a little display. I got little things we're going to use to make this lighthouse so cute. So I hope you stick on and the bigger scale lighthouse, I'll show you that too, what you can put it on to make it just so adorable. So I will show that all at the end again. So you got to stick on to see that. RJ, thank you so much for the stars. I appreciate it. Teresa, thank you for the stars. I appreciate that a lot. I'm just trying to make this a little bit even. If it's not, it's okay. But again, a thin layer. And this paint is nice and dark. So it will be just trying making sure they match. My, my line matches up all the way around, and I'll just fill that in. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Crafting is never perfect. Jill, thank you for the stars, too. Oh, that's awesome. I appreciate it. That all, we get a little bit, It's if you don't know what the star program in, is it's a, sort of like a tip program. If you like what I do, um, you throw out the stars. And again, I never expect that. It's okay. But I get a penny per star. And, you know, sometimes it adds up. And it helps pay for the Happy Meal that I send out all the time. And so it helps with that kind of stuff. So Postage is insane these days, but I will not give up doing that. That's... That's me. I like that random act of kindness drawing that we always do at the end. Okay, so we did the around the bottom. Now we're going to do um, another stripe up a little bit higher. I want too much. And this paintbrush is almost the perfect size. So find a paintbrush that is the perfect size for what you want to do. And you can just go all the way around. And I'm trying to judge it from that bottom stripe to keep about the even distance between the stripes. And hopefully we'll match up at the other end when we get around. And we will. Okay, so I'm just looking again at the distance between that bottom blue and the blue that I'm doing. Okay, so we got that. We're going to do another stripe up here. Again, it's a lesser distance, so um, around. So it'll be a little easier. Again, I'm just looking at the width of the stripe. And by having the size brush that I want, it just makes it a lot easier. That's the, the width of the stripe. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Or you could do it, honestly, if you're good, you can do it like around this way. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And we'll do one more stripe on here. All the way around. This is going to be a cute, cute lighthouse. Anybody that has lighthouse decor, whoop, that one didn't match up as good. Let's, that's all right. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so we're going to take on this one too. We're going to do around this bottom. Now this is the top of it. You're going to get paint on you. It's inevitable. Thank you, Anne. 
Teresa, thank you for the stars. Y'all, yeah, that, that's really sweet. I just, I love the emojis too. I love the comments. All that helps. All of that helps spread the word. So I appreciate it. The passing it on, that's, I appreciate that too. Okay, we got that. And we're going to set that down and just do this little topper part. Just as carefully as you can. I don't want to get it down on the other part. There you go. I'm gonna shift that. Can you see that? I'll lift that up in a minute, but I just did that little topper part. And you can see like on here, it's that little metal topper part is what I did in the blue. All right, I think I'm done with the blue. We're gonna dry it up again. Somebody else sent a ton of stars. Thank you so much. I missed the name on it. I have to see the name. I, I just like thanking people if I can see. Teresa, thank you. You know, it just means so much. Thank you so much. You know, like I said, just the comments too and the hearts and, you know, sharing me. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that, but that's what I mean. That just all helps. I appreciate it. You know what's going on today? I know you all don't know, but I was actually watching it before I came on here is, you know, I joined Close to My Heart again, and that's what I'm going to be showing you making cards, you know, maybe some scrapbook page layouts if people are interested in. Um, those you can always convert into cards. They have their big annual convention today, and it's virtual that I was watching some of it online. It's, they just have amazing stuff coming up. Kathy, I know you like the nautical. This will be perfect for you. Thank you, Debbie. I mean, that's looking like a lighthouse, right? I just want it good and dry. I had it a little thick in a couple places, so we got to get that nice and dry because I don't want that to spread. I can see that it is. Try that. My Dollar Tree mat will melt. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. I'll just make sure it's good and dry. Now you can see that little tip that I painted, right? And it doesn't have to be perfect. I do have to make this sure this is good and dry, this bottom part, for sure. So now we're going to add a door and some windows on here. Okay, Chris, I will check out that message. That was a cute ball jar sign, right? It was really, really cute. I love how that turned out. If you all don't know what I was talking about, I was on a live the other night and I did a cutting board with, I think, Hold Your Balls, it's canning season. <laughs> it was pretty cute. Okay. I think that's pretty dry. The jar definitely gets hot, too. So you have to be careful with that. Okay, I think we're good. All right, next we're going to do a little door on it. So I think um, I'm going to pick out the best side because you know where it joined up there? It isn't actually the perfect. We're going to do, do it on the front. Let's pick a really cute side. This is a cute side. We're going to do it here. We're going to do a door. I'm using crimson chalk paint use whatever you have 
And I'm going to start with like a, a round brush like this. I think it'll be easier to get the shape. And then maybe for the next layer, I'll do a little flat brush. And I, just to get a shape, I just need it a little bit bigger. I'm just going to try and do an oval on the top. We will need two coats because I'm going on top of that blue. So if you want to do that first and try and piece around the door, you certainly can do that too. Whatever is easiest for you. I'm just trying to draw an outline right now. And it's... You know, you could do a rectangle door too if you want. I'm just going to use a little oval door and fill that in. We'll end up doing two coats of that too. So just a little door. more cut and the reason why you need the two honestly is because of that dark blue underneath that works out really really good like this okay we're going to decorate a little more in the door we're going to let that dry a second we'll do windows next my door. All right, then I'm just going to use, I have a little skinny little flat brush. We're going to use that for the windows. And I've got deco art black. So here, like I said, that you can, you, you don't necessarily have to use all chalk paint. We're just using this and my cover is broke. So I have to open it up. I'm just going to do little square windows above here. I'm going to dip it in there. And I'm just going to start on top. And because I'm using a square brush, I'm just going to pull it down. And it just gives you that little window. If you make a mistake, so you paint over it. I hope I don't. <laughs> The cute little windows. That's all you need with the black. Now, if you were doing, okay, let me go back to what we got from the Dollar Tree to make this on a larger scale. If you were doing, like I said, on here, this was an idea. This was their candles, and it's all scooped out laying right here. Blueberry pancake it smells amazing. If you do this, you could take and put windows around up here and have like i said this candle so you honestly could um even if you paint it white that would still glow but or you can frame put black lines like squares and put a little candle in it you could also do the same like have this well you honestly you just take the sticker off you don't even i don't know that you even have to paint it and you put a candle inside of there and when you put it on top of here and do all your other painting that would be the same thing so these are all dollar tree ideas for doing the same thing but bigger rj i think you could do this you wouldn't necessarily need the tape and you know what if you do tape on this glass it'll it might peel off that others okay you could use if you wanted um you could just take like a paper towel and lay it on there and paint you could do that as you go around so if you put tape on i think that would peel off of here all right let's just dry this up and then we're going to decorate a little more on that door and then we're going to make it look a little bit old and then we're going to put it put it on like a little display like with my shelves and my little bit of stones okay i want to make sure this this door has to be really, really dry for this next step. So I want to make sure because we're going to actually use a marker on it. 
so I don't want to scratch the paint. Okay, so I'm just using a little permanent marker and I'm going to make it like it's bricks. So all I'm going to do is just draw lines across. If you're good with a paintbrush, do that. I'm just going to draw these lines across. I'll show you in just a second. So just draw the straight lines across and then like bricks are not even. So you do, let me just show you. So you just do alternating like that. Can you see that top? You alternate. So now I'm going to go back in that center of the brick. So each time you're going to draw a line in the center of the bricks. So I'll show you again. You see that? So you're just making bricks by drawing, you know, draw your lines across and then alternate where you're putting, you know, you're going to take the line from the center of the brick above down. And then the next row, you're going to put it from the center of those bricks. So, and I'm going to do a little doorknob here. Just a little, little dot of a doorknob. Now we're going to add just a little highlighting in there just to make it stand out a little bit. Let's use a little bit of dark chocolate to make it look a little more bricky. I think so. Yeah. Small paintbrushes make it a little easier. I'll just do this. You really don't need, you don't need to do this step either. And honestly, if you didn't want to do the bricks things, you wouldn't. You just want, so I'm just going to fill in a few of these bricks just a little bit with this brown. Let me just show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Can you see that brown in there? So I'm not covering the whole brick and I'm not doing every brick. I'm just going to do a few of them just to add that little bit just to make some of them look older. And you don't even have to do the whole brick. Okay. Then next, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it with just a That wasn't good. <laughs> I'm not thinking. Oh, Sue, do it. You can do it. All right. So now I'm going to just do a real little bit of white in here. Just to, and I'll show you. This is just a fine little brush. And I'll show you just by putting just a real little bit of white in, it just makes it stand out. It makes it look a little bit older. Okay, so I just have that little white in places. I think I'm going to do that little bit of white just in a couple places also on. on the blue so it's not a lot that you're doing it just adds a little something to it you could do it all the way around I what when I'm done with this I'm not going to really want you to see the back of mine it's not going to be as pretty as the front okay so we just added that little white on there right, now we're done with the white now we're going to make it look a little bit older are y'all liking this this is going to be really really cute when it's done and you know what I think I'm going to do too, because I think it'll make that door stand out a little bit. I'm just going to go around the outside of the door with this black pen also. Again, if you like using paintbrushes for the little fine deal, deal um, go ahead and do that. It just brings that door out a little bit and evens it out. All right, let me just see. I 
think that's everything for that. Now we're just going to age it up a little bit. Make, every, make sure everything is dry. We're going to get this out of the way. Um, this is going to end up going on top like that. That's looking like a lighthouse, right? So now I've got some distressed of the Tim Holtz. I, I have Jude on my table. I'm sorry, I'm itching. I have Jude on my table. So I have the um, distressed inks here. I didn't look, I was going to look at what this is. I don't want anything too dark. And then, do you use these daubers? I like using them. Um, I use them a lot with the cards and stuff. I just want to see what this color looks like. Well, that's a little more um, yellow than what I want. This is Rusty Hinge. Let's try that. Thank you, Becky. I appreciate it. I itch, itch, sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with this. This is antique linen, and I'm gonna add just a little bit. This is called peeled paint. It almost looks like a green. And then this is just a little bit of a light color. And I am gonna take some of it off on here because I don't want it too dark. With yellow circles on the top look like lights. Yes, they probably would. Or you could do you could do this and you know just highlight a little yellow square in the middle of it too. There's all different things you can do. You can do a circle lights and maybe put lines through it with white, you know, outline out um just like a X through the middle of it or up and down across through the middle of it. You could do that too. That would be cute. Um, there's a lot of different kind of window ideas you can do. So I'm just going to dab this on here. I'll add a little bit of color on it. You can see it just adds a little bit of age and color. We're going to do the same on here. And I'm going to pick it up more. Just like I did on here, I did more of the darker on there. We're going to do that on here. Just adds that little bit of color to it and then we're going to add a little green because to me you need that little bit of mossy kind of look. These daubers come in handy for a lot of this with the stamping um, with or with the using these stamp pads. Okay, I think we're done with that color. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of green, but then that, that just brings out those stripes a little bit. And let's add just a little green in places. Can you see that little bit of green? You don't need a lot of it all over. I just blend it in a little. Again, I'm not as worried of the back just because when I'm done, you're not going to want to see the back and I'll show you why as much. I mean, it'll still be cute, but you're not going to want to see it as much. Okay, let's just add a little. On here. Okay, I think that's enough of the green. Okay. And put that together. All right, next step is we're going to add a little bit of jute. <laughs> so I don't, plus, I have the jute on my table and I'm itching like crazy from the jute because I used it before I came on too. All right, and we're going to put jute around the bottom of each of these stripes just to add a little bit of interest. You know what I don't have out here is my buttons. How do I forget my buttons? <laughs> 
All right, so I think I'm going to do it on the bottom of each stripe so then I don't have to worry about doing it around that door either. We're going to do it on the bottom and I'm going to start on the back. And honestly, if you have real thin glue, um, a thin line of glue, you could do it all the way around, but I don't with this hot glue. It's not a thin line and you're going to see it if you go all the way around. So I'm just going to do it in the back, lay it on, wrap it around and put it back in that glue spot. So you only have to glue once and if you make sure that it's tight when you pull it around. And you can always add a little dab of glue if you want. We're going to add that little bit on there. Thank you, Teresa. Just do the next line. So like I said, just make that spot of glue big enough in the back so that when you come around, you can lay it back in there. And then just cut off. And see the back, that's what I'm saying is the back you don't want to see as much because of where it comes together, but it's not awful. It isn't awful. It just adds, adds cuteness by adding this on. Again, it's a, another layer um, to add like a 3D kind of look to your lighthouse. If you're going to do it with the Dollar Tree larger items that I showed you earlier, then use larger jute or like they have the nautical roping depending how big you go. They have the nautical rope too that has the blue stripe through it that I used on that um, anchor. That would be beautiful on a larger one. Just cute, right? Make sure it's sort of even. All right, and then we're going to do one more right there. Yeah, it looks like moss growing on it, right? With that little bit of green. Now, once you get to this point and you put the glue here, you're not taking the cover off. So if you think you're going to take the cover off all the time, don't put this layer of jute here with that glue because you're basically gluing it together by doing that. Isn't that just really, really cute? So now should we put it on a little something? That's everything. So my thought is, and then, you know, I have this, this was like leaves. I, I had different ones the other day that I said that I don't even know where that one came from. This one was like these leaves from Hobby Lobby. They were like wood bark leaves. And I had several of these. So we might use... I don't know that I'll put it on here, but we might stick a little bit of it in this little scene we're going to create. So I've got, let's see, do we want to put both? Let's, let me show you. So I have my, my second one. This was my sample one, and this is my other one. I think I'm just going to set up as one, though, because that's a nice size. So if you're going to do a little display, you could do it like right on one of these rustic little boards and not do anything else. But of course, I have to do a little bit more. Um, I did think about lining the door too, but if you had sand or even tinier stones, my stones are not tiny enough. And I would go with more of the natural look stones, you know, maybe um, a little bit more of this lighter bit, even maybe even a little more brown. You could do that around the door too and maybe do a base of it here. But we're going to glue this on here. We're going to have this flat part as front. You get these at Hobby Lobby. Okay, They're, you get them in packs. Um, we're going to have it towards the back so we can do a little bit, or maybe maybe about there. We're going to glue that on, and then we're going to do a little display. But like I said, if you had the real tiny little pebbles, you could glue up around and around the door. That would be really, really cute. So let's just put this on already because I don't want, I don't want to try and fit it in after. So you may need E6000 
Okay, you definitely might need E6000 because you're doing it on glass, and especially if you're a warmer area, you may need that. All right, let me get in. Now, if you weren't here at the beginning, you got the little shells from the Dollar Tree, too. We're going to add some of them. I do wish I had, like I said, the more, um, the, the lighter color stone. These are from the Dollar Tree. Um, they did have teal like this also. And I'm going to add glue and we're going to be putting that down around and I'm not going to put it all over because I got a little bit to put around. Hi Carla. Thank you for passing me on. I appreciate it. Right, so let's just start up here and just do a little bit of hot glue there. And we're going to put a few of the stones on it. And we'll see if we can push them down in and let come off what needs to come off. And just do parts at a time. Just a little bit more here. And I don't want to cover that hole because I do like um, part of that wood showing. So I don't want to cover all of it. I think that just adds really to, um, to this sort of rustic kind of effect. Push that down in. How's that looking? Cute. Let's do that all the way around. It's just going to use a little bit. So you can also, if you have little tiny stones in your yard, get them. Um, but yeah, these are Dollar Tree. Actually, this color maybe wouldn't be so bad because of the colored stone um, shells that I'm putting on here. You'll probably see the shells a little better. Are you liking this? Thank you, Gail. I wish I could call this a Dollar Tree salt shaker. I did really try to get it from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> if they weren't gone, they're gone. But uh, they were from Goodwill, the, these salt shakers. But like I said, the other items I showed you from Goodwill, everything else I have here is Goodwill. Um, the other items I have here were all for making a larger one that was all goodwill. I just wanted to stay small. I thought this would be it was so cute. All this glue. All that glue. Okay, that's the start. Isn't that just really, really, really cute? Thank you, Kathy and Emily. Alright, so we're done with the stone part of it. Now we're gonna add like little doodads. We're gonna add a little of this mesh bag in there. I've got this little bit of moss. This was from the Dollar Tree and it had that little pine cone. So I'm going to break that pine cone actually apart. Okay, so let me show you um, this, video, but it's too big for this. I had this fence downstairs. So that's too big for this. You get this at Hobby Lobby um, by the, um, this is by like my garden friends. This is like your fairy garden. I think you could probably get it also by the, um, like the dollhouse kind of things. You could probably also get it there. But now, like I said, if you go to Dollar Tree and you do this on a bigger scale, and we're not done here yet, don't go away. But I just want to show you as long as I got the fencing here, you get one of these, you can get these at Walmart or, or Hobby Lobby, or take a piece of wood out of your yard if you have something, have somebody cut it. Put this on here, do the same kind of stuff. And then when you go larger scale, one of these glasses from Dollar Tree, add something like this with a candle in it, um, something like that, or, you know, put it right down. So that's the other idea is doing it on a larger scale. You can do again, the same thing I'm doing, 
but do it on here with that fence on would be really really cute so that's you know again put that candle in there paint it up it would be adorable so that's that's the other idea I had for trying to finish this if you do it at a larger scale or you could even do like if you have a medium sized one do it on a little bit thinner board just whatever you have. So I also have these little doodads from the Dollar, Dollar Tree and I have some shelves. These add a little sparkle so that's why I'm just going to put a couple of these in. Oh, Teresa, the sand would be perfect. And I honestly was going to put sand on here. I didn't have any, and the Dollar Tree didn't have any either. Okay, we're just going to take a few of these because they're a little bit shiny. I'm going to put them a few places. We got the moss. We got the shells. Uh, let's just add a little of these in a couple spots. So I'm just going to put a little dab. to add it in there just to add a little bit of sparkle and you may not see it I don't know we might end up putting it on top of the moss in some places I have this glue sticking all over me hi Robin it is not hot today it's supposed to get up to 90 here but it's not nearly as humid as what it was. I'll bet you it is by you though. Yeah, it's not nearly as humid. All right, let's just put another one. I don't know that we're necessarily going to see these. I just thought I would try. I think we're going to end up with more hot glue in places than what I would like. Okay, let's do a little bit of this moss. So again, this moss is from... Uh, Dollar Tree also. I do like the idea too. They have these little pine cones. I might just take this apart and put a couple pieces of that in there. Okay, we're going to just say, look at this moss is like almost perfect for it. really perfect for it there's even some of this stiffer kind of moss so let's let's get a little moss added in here okay you don't need a lot and you don't want it covering up your door here but we could add a little bit honestly we could add a little bit on here too if we wanted so this okay the salt shaker this salt shaker is not from the Dollar Tree because they were all out of salt shakers when I went there um, they do have salt shakers otherwise these salt shakers were from Goodwill. Everything else I'm using, all these stones, this moss, um, the jute you get at Dollar Tree, but I know you can get salt shakers at Dollar Tree. They were just gone. So um, that's, I wish I could have got it from there, but I know you can get salt shakers from there. This one is a little brighter color one which is okay so we're just adding that little bit of green in there I don't want to cover up all the stone and it can stick off the ends Oops. Let's do a little bit more back here. Yeah, all these stones, though, the little shells that I'm going to use are from the Dollar Tree. And then, like I said, you can do a bigger scale with the other items that I showed earlier from the Dollar Tree. Okay. 
just adding that little bit of moss in there. Okay, so these shells are also from the Dollar Tree. Let me get this cork out of here. I need a corkscrew. I need to go get my corkscrew. I seriously think I need to get my corkscrew. Let's just see. There we go. There we go. Look at these cute little shells. Look at the cute little shells. So, oh, and I have this little bit of of the pine cone. We're just going to add a little of that in places. Upside down. Just not, not too much of it. I don't want it to take away from the lighthouse either. Maybe you won't end up seeing it again with what I'm putting on here. Maybe you won't see it. So much glue on me. Dollar Tree, three different kinds of moss. No. Yeah, Teresa, they do. And this was this was the smaller bag. They do have other moss there now too. I did see that. Um, so this, I love this that had that little, it has the little dry, um, dry moss in. Okay, I'm trying to see the best side. I like, I want to be able to see some of that open part of the shell. that just adding the little shelves in there outside of my glue yeah she says isn't it cute there were other they had the other kind of flatter shells too you could get either jar so I saw these I thought these would be really cute for this And the coloring on them is really, really cute. So that's a little bit bigger. That's too big. Thank you, Robin. Yeah, again, if you had sand, you certainly, the sand would be perfect on here. I just didn't have it. Oh, this is a tiny little shell. We'll throw that on there. Put that right up next to the other one. Okay, let me just see where we're going. I think that's almost enough shells. Maybe one more shell coming out here. The coloring on these shells is awesome. I think I like that one there. I needed a littler one there. Again, let's see, I want so much hot glue around, hanging through my fingers over here. What do you think? Didn't that turn out cute? Let's add a little bit of moss up here. I like that brown moss. So we're just going to add just a little bit. <laughs> I am so stuck on glue here. Just add a little bit of this on here. And we could probably do it in a couple of places too. Let's let's do that, and then I think we're done. Thank you, Anne. 
I don't think we're done. We'll just put It's getting warm in here now though. We asked if it's hot. Um, it's supposed to get up to 90 today. We don't have the air on. I have doors and windows open. Um, it's getting a little warm now. Now, if you like this more of that clean kind of look, I'll be right back. I need to get my buttons. If you like the clean kind of look, don't add the don't add the moss. Don't add the aging. You could have just the bright white, and that would work out perfect. My buttons are never far away from me. And we just need a tiny little wand just to, just to say we added a button. It's so funny on here when people say that they were at places and they saw buttons and they thought of me. I think that's hilarious. I'm glad you think of me. It's the perfect button for it too. I have so much glue on me. Looks terrible. Okay, here we go. What do you think? I think it turned out so cute. Some of the bark is coming off. So cute. Let's straighten these out a little bit. There. So just a salt and pepper shaker. Right, it's so easy. And if you saw a live before, um, a different live, I did these little bees with the salt and pepper shaker. So, just really, really cute. Thank you, Sue. I appreciate it. See, Pamela, then you make him a little one. So, again, let me just show you real quick before I do the random act of kindness drawing. Let me show you the other Dollar Tree ideas I had for doing lighthouses only on a bigger scale. Um, you can you can do awesome bigger ones on the same same idea. So they have these vases there. Just look for something that's shaped that comes down. Okay. Another thought I had, which I probably will do sometime, is I'm gonna do one with Jenga blocks. All right, and it's gonna be like the old wood look. And it's not going to be round. It's going to be more obviously it won't be round, but I'm going to do one with Jenga blocks. So I think that would be a great idea. Um, so don't do it. I'll do it. So you could paint it that same way. You could decorate it the same way. This was a candle. Blueberry pancake. It smells amazing. I took it out. It's all over there, but put in a fake candle in here, or you could have left the candle and, and paint over it. But um, you could do that. Or these plastic glasses are there. And look at the, they have the bumps already on. You could age this up. You could paint this. Just do that white on it and sand a little places just to get those bumps. Or not even if you didn't sand, if you did like I did on here with the uh, distressed ink and do that along, you would see all those markings. And then you put this on top, put that candle inside of there and, you know, paint, you can paint stripes, whatever. So these are Dollar Tree ideas that you can get and make as big as you want. I mean, a lot of people like the nautical theme. I, it doesn't go so much in my house, but I know people like it and they wanted to see that. So that's why I wanted to show it along with this was a Dollar Tree one I did a few weeks ago. So if you didn't see it, I've been posting a lot of pictures of this one. I love how that turned out. It was just on a Dollar Tree canvas panel that I painted. And I did that on a live and they had the, the sand dollars there, um, the starfish. They had an anchor and we just put a napkin on it. This roping was from there. So if you do a larger one, use their nautical roping if you have that. Um, the ribbon was from there. Jute, all that is from the Dollar Tree. So you could do cute nautical things from the Dollar Tree. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. All right, should we um, 
scroll random at the kindness drawing. Well, okay, so, so I'm, I'm just like, okay, now I say this other times because it looks like I'm scrolling looking for a name. I see a name right now, it's gonna be that one. But if I says, when I look at it, I can see so-and-so's watching, so-and-so's watching. That doesn't mean they commented. I have to scroll to where it says somebody is actually commented. So on here, Glenda Spencer Butler. Um, private message me your mailing address. I'll get you happy mail and please do a random act of kindness for someone so if you like this or if you know somebody who would like it please pass this on let them see it um, i probably will be creating a pinterest pin for it i hope you save that to your boards i'm really trying to grow my pinterest too so if you can help me out by saving and do the hearts on them that's really that helps me grow there too so i started with facebook growing i want to try and grow one more thing so that's that's what it is so all right you all have a happy blessed day kathy you also and i i think i'm gonna see you guys probably pretty soon all right